Let's get back to that developing news in East Hartford where poli a police shot and killed a man during a domestic violence call. That man's wife is now hospitalized with life-threatening injuries she apparently received from her husband and the two officers who responded to the call are also injured. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio is live at the couple's home on Skyline Drive where all of this happened. Patricia. Good morning. Yeah, well, it is still a busy scene here some 12 hours after this happened. I'm going to direct your attention to that deck up there. If you'll notice, there are investigators out there taking photographs. If you look carefully, you'll see one of them is in uh, sort of a white jumpsuit. That is to uh, protect any of the officer's DNA from going into the area. They want to keep it in a uh, very protected and clean way to preserve all evidence, and that's why it's common to see them in those sorts of white uh, jumpsuits uh, that you see there. And you see him taking photographs as well. Domestic violence calls are some of the most dangerous calls police can go out on. They can be walking in on a violent struggle, and police say that's exactly what happened here. Let's show you video from last night. Police responded to the home on Skyline Drive at around 6.30 after receiving a panicked 911 call. According to East Hartford Police, when the two officers arrived, the husband was attacking his his wife. They say the man then fought with police and was shot by officers. That struggle resulted in injuries to at least one of the officers. Non-life-threatening injuries, but during the course of that struggle and the investigation of this domestic violence incident, deadly force was determined to be necessary. So back out here live, you can see uh, some of the investigators walking back to this mobile crime unit that is in the street. As you can tell, the road is still cordoned off at this time while they try to complete this investigation. Now, we do know that the couple has two children. They were in the home at the time, but neighbors tell us they ran to a nearby home. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to tackle some of the different questions involved in this case, like were the officers wearing body cams? How many shots were fired? Did the gentleman have a weapon? That's coming up in the next half hour. I'm live in East Hartford, Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.